In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to show you how to take a still image that you have assembled from component parts and split it out so that it splits in three dimensions. Let me show you as I play this clip a little bit what the effect is that we're going to show you how to do. It's kind of nice. So I have an image that I broke into four pieces and then we're taking it and kind of peeling them apart on a three-dimensional grid. Chris Lauterbach uh, is the one who I have to give credit for this idea. He's a subscriber and he said, is there a way to do this? He showed me a clip and I thought, can you do this in PowerDirector? The answer is yes, if you have PowerDirector, the ultimate version, because that contains Titler Pro. And that's the add-on program we're going to use to create this kind of effect where we split apart an image into different kinds of components in what looks like is three-dimensional. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to click on our title area with the title room or press the F7 key and then I go into my Titler Pro. That's in the subset called New Blue. So I'll take that title and drag it down and drop it on any video track. I'll, I'll use track one for now. Then we'll go ahead and open Tyler Pro. I'll resize it so you can follow along easy. And the first thing we're going to do in Tyler Pro is simply click on the paragraph that says enter text, right click and delete it. We do not need the text paragraph. Now we're going to import our image, which we broke up into four sections. I'll go file, import image. I've navigated to the subfolder where my four components of this image are and we'll bring each of them in one at a time. I'll start with the backdrop and click open and it pops in the middle of the screen. We'll repeat the process for the bucket and again for the street at the front on the right and the last one we'll import is the last segment which is the tree on the left side. So now I have my entire picture. Unfortunately, when this uh, comes into uh, my Tyler Pro, it comes in in a small size and each item is only labeled as shape and I can't rename it. Uh, but let's work with them as we can. I'll take the first item here and we're going to enlarge it. So I'm going to go on the left side for my scale. I'll lock it down in XYZ proportions and then we'll make it larger. Okay, let's make it 60.6. Uh, .6. And then we'll click on the second component and we'll drag that out to 60.6. .6. And we'll do the same with the third and fourth segments. Okay, now I have my picture the size I want. The next thing I need to do is I'll take any track. We'll start with the top one and we'll do some keyframing. So I need to move on the left side and click on Turn On Keyframing. It will create a keyframe at the very beginning and let's assume I want it to stay in one particular place for about two seconds without moving. So I'll, I'll move my playhead there and we'll, we'll add a keyframe. To do that you just click on the plus at the bottom where it says Add Keyframe and it added a second one there and now we'll go to the end and we'll add another keyframe. So in these three points in time, the image is my normal size. So what I want to do at, at uh, about, let's say five seconds in, we'll add another keyframe. And this will be my third keyframe in this part of the shape. Now we're gonna change a value. We're gonna to go to the Y scale and I'm going to go ahead and rotate this around the center. And this just happens to be the, the left side of my image. And you can rotate it as thin as you want, as angled as you want. And we're going to go 69.8. Now the nice thing that I can do once I have done that is I can copy all these values. All I need to do, I'm going to have to scale this up so you can see the drop down better is I'll right click here and do copy keyframe set. And then I'll click on the other track and I'll do paste keyframe set. 
three times. Now you notice what happened. At this moment in time, all of the components take on those values. But what I'd like to do now is I'd like to separate them. So we'll uh, go ahead and make this bigger so you can see a little better. And let's take the top track. And what I'm going to do is make sure I'm clicking on this approximately the same point in time. And on this one, I'm going to change the uh, X value. And we're going to move the, the tree limb, the left side, back. I'll change the next one, make sure I'm clicked about the same point in time. We're going to add another keyframe. We're going to move the X value of the street near the front. And we'll click on the third one. At that point in time, we'll change the X value. We'll put the bucket way in front. And we could actually leave the background here, or we could move it wherever we want. I'll, I'll just move it to show you can, and we'll step it back this way. If we go ahead to the beginning and play this, watch what happens. It stays the same, and then they begin to fly apart. And then they come back together, because my end keyframe uh, did not change. I'm going to slow this down here, and we'll just drag the playhead. It comes apart at this moment in time and then they all start sliding back together when we're done. So you see the effect. And you can change the tracks, you can change uh, which is in front of or behind the other component. But it's a nice way to uh, break apart an image that you've already broken into other segments and do it in somewhat of a three-dimensional look using Tyler Pro. And when you're done, all you do is click on the X and it saves it as a title. And I can just go ahead and play it. And as I play the image, it will do exactly what I told it to do within Tyler Pro.